I love how we don't know like what's gonna happen in the show. Like that's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, they're real people. <laughs> they're so it sounds so dumb, but adorable. <laughs> they're anxious. We're currently sitting in the police station. Yeah. 12:20 a.m. right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and last Thursday I went to Dan and Phil's Interactive Introverts in Brisbane, Australia. Yes, I got that first try. Yes, okay. Now I went with my friends Cherie and Mickey, which you guys probably know from my previous vlogs. Now we live on the Gold Coast, so it took us over an hour to get there by train. Um, when I planned on vlogging it, I was gonna like vlog it like a normal way. Snippets here, snippets there, and then you just put them together and you kind of see the whole picture. But while we were there, I guess I kind of wanted to like live in the moment and I didn't want to keep taking out my camera and worry about filming this, filming that. I just wanted to focus on like, I was so happy and excited to be there that I just wanted to live in that moment and just enjoy it as it is and not have to worry about filming. So I didn't film everything that I wanted to, but it's all up here and I am going to tell you guys what happened. Now, from the title of this video, you could probably tell that this was one hell of a ride. Like, we got to do things that we did not expect to do. That sounds really weird. It just means that we were in a police station for... God knows how long. So we had to take the train to get there. And now it was a school day. I didn't end up going to school, but them two did. Good on ya. Now we were planning on taking the train at 5.13. Uh, it was completely my fault, but we missed that train because I underestimated how much traffic there would be at that time. I didn't, I don't know, it just didn't register in my brain. So they made it on time. They saw the train there and they're like, oh, let's go. Wait, where's Christy? And, um, I'm sorry guys, but because of me, we had to take the next train, which was half an hour later at 5.43, I think? Yes. We kind of waited around at the train station for a bit, because I only missed a train by like 5-10 minutes, that's a lot, but we had like 20 minutes to just sit there and be loud, and um, you can probably tell that everyone was cringing at us. Okay, so, so we're like, in a train um, station right now, and there's like oh a God. bunch of people, as you can see, and it's like really quiet. And Christy was like, okay, maybe I should vlog now. And then like suddenly the train like stopped, <laughs> Stop. and she was like, oh wait, never mind, it's too quiet. And she's thinking about singing, she doesn't want to start well, guess the vlog. One. <laughs> so these two, I, I swear to God, these two literally just said they were not going to vlog. You know what, and, I still don't And know. if I still Okay, really so really basically we're going to Dan and Phil right now. I am so excited. Like we have been looking forward to this. Like, I, remember, I remember when Shuri went to Tasnoff like two years ago and I was like so jealous I was like I wish I could go and now I'm finally going to interactive introverts I am so excited this is like the most exciting thing to have ever happened to me I've never been to like any kind of like concerts or like met anyone you talking so loud. shut up I looked at the merch online and everything is so expensive I'm just gonna ignore them everything was so expensive I hey guys like, if you if you, if you sorry <laughs> Apparently, if you look hard. into this, <laughs> you, you look like Shrek. You guys should try it. So, if you look into <laughs> this, you look like Are Shrek. You Shrek? <laughs> Are you Shrek? Um, I looked at the merch online and like I literally want everything, but you know how much a denim jacket is? $95. Just because you <laughs> <laughs> No, because I saw the chat. Like afterwards. Oh, I want to cry. I think that's the most expensive thing there is on there. You are the most expensive yeah, thing. Thank we you. <laughs> Nah, I was saying for a concert. Anyway, no, we we bought the um like sixty dollar um yeah, the supernatural, the supernatural one, yeah. suit, and I was like, dude, that's like no, literally so thing. much money, yeah. and now we're about yeah. to spend ninety five dollars, maybe, maybe, I possibly. Maybe. I honestly like wore this in hopes that I would be able to replace it with a ninety five dollar jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. So we're, we're literally yeah. being the loudest chicken here, and just they just wanted to leave. They were like, I'm tired of probably just want to get home from work why are these kids here like can they shut up like i'm sorry i apologize for everyone that was on the train platform but, but we made it to the venue finally after a very long train ride we walked over we actually kind of was lost for a bit because we were like where where are we going where is this um as we were on the train we saw people with like cat whiskers and crazy amazing hair and we we're like they're they're, they're going to yep 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 and we got up to the place where they were like selling merch and stuff and now here was my dilemma like the whole time that we were waiting to you know on the train ride walking to get up there i was the whole time i was like should i buy that denim jacket it was 120 dollars by the way i thought that it was 95 dollars because i searched up the prices you know that they listed on the um Twitter or something and it was in euros so I converted it to Australian dollars which said that it was 95 but apparently it was more than that um uh, sorry 
it was a very big dilemma as to what I should do and if I should buy that amazing denim jacket or not. Um, I ended up buying it. <laughs> I ended up paying $120 for this denim jacket, which honestly, in my opinion, like, at the time I was kind of like iffy, I was like, oh no, I just wasted all this money, my wallet is crying, but honestly, afterwards, like, now that I'm thinking about it, here it is, I'm so excited about it, it's so pretty, um, like, denim jackets usually aren't cheap anyway, they're like $80, $90, depending on where you get it, and this one is merch, it's got, like, this on it. And it's got these little scuffy things. What are these called? Holes? It's got these pre-made holes in it. And all the buttons are matte black. Like, that's amazing to me. Like, So, yes, I bought the jacket. I was very excited about it. Also, kind of low-key crying on the inside because my wallet was dead now by this point. Um, but, you know, love this jacket. I don't have earrings on, I just realised. Oh, I have one earring on. Okay, this is not intentional, but I, I literally have one earring. What happened to my other earring? Okay, you know what? I don't care. Anyway, Shuri got the um, sweatshirt that was really cute. Like, the thing that I loved about all their merch was that it wasn't... It didn't scream Dan and Phil. Like, you know? I don't think most people want to... No offense, but the fandom is a little crazy. And I don't think most people want to immediately be associated with that by wearing their merch. So the fact that it was like really subtle, like, you know, like this only just says introvert. And like, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, you know, we got our tickets at the cheapest price that you could get it at. It was like, I think $35. It was 34 something. Like, it wasn't even $35 for the tickets, which honestly, in my opinion, was worth it. Like I would have rather sat at the, we were at the balcony was like, at the top and I, I was at the very back of the balcony so I could stand up and not be blocking anyone which is really good I think and the ticket prices for like the very very front would have been like a hundred and I don't know like more than the price of my jacket which was crazy to me like I would rather sit at the very back still see them like still be in the same room and breathing the same air as them oh my god this is the crazy fan girl coming out again anyway so we got up to the balcony we sat there and they were playing you know all the songs that they usually play before the show starts Cool music, cool vibes, everyone was kind of really excited. I was really excited. We are all very excited. We're so fucking hyped right now. We're waiting for the show to start. They play my drop before as well, like... Oh my as soon as my drop started playing, they were like, oh my god, is this, is this, is this, is this? We just went for it, we were just like... Yes! It, obviously, they um, played the Gino and everyone died, but that's besides the point. We all knew that was going to happen. No. 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 So finally, they came onto the show and we were like, whoa, like we were so excited. Oh yeah, and also at some point during the music, people were doing the Macarena and everyone was joining in. <laughs> people at the very, very front, like you could see them from everywhere in the... room and, and some people started following and that was the thing that happened I don't even know anyway so the show started everyone was very very excited um there was security standing everywhere to make sure people didn't film or anything which I mean I get it but I was kind of sad but anyway honestly I'm not gonna lie when they first came on I literally for the like the whole first five minutes of them being on the show and they're like oh hey blah, blah, blah. I was just I was sitting there and I was just crying my eyes out I don't know why but like I just looked at them and this sounds so crazy cringy fangirl I don't know how to explain this but like I saw them right and they've always been people on the internet like I've never met anyone famous or like on the internet or anything so to me it was crazy like I sat there and they came out and I was like oh my god they're they're in real life like, like right there and they've always just been people behind a screen behind a camera and they are real people. I don't know. I'm, I always knew they were real people, obviously, but, like, that moment was just so weird to me. Like, I don't know why. And I just started, like, I was just sitting there, like, with my mouth hanging open, and I was just crying the whole time. That was weird. It was, like, a happy cry. I was, like, so excited, so happy to see them. And then it finally happened, and they were like, oh, my God, like, they're real people. They're standing right there. This is finally happening. We bought these tickets back in... 
I don't know, like September last year, October not last year, it was like almost a year ago. So we've been looking forward to this for so long and it was finally happening, it was all coming together and I was just like, they're real, they're right here. Ah! I, I don't know, I, ah! I was one of those people, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so the show happened, you know, it was amazing. I, oh my God, probably one of the best experiences in my life. Obviously I can't say what happens in the show because... I don't know, I don't want to get in trouble. But, so then we got to the intermission, which was like, I think, 20 minutes, maybe? I think it was a 20 minute intermission. I don't know, I wasn't actually checking or anything. But then, the, obviously the music was playing, it was really loud. Um, and this kid in my balcony, because I was sitting at the very top, and he was only like a few seats away from me, he started dancing, like full on, like, like, dancing. It got to the point where he was standing up, he was dancing, Every single person in the entire room, like the whole entire, everyone in the seats turned around, because we were at the back of the balcony, turned around to look at this kid dancing, and it was amazing. And everyone was like cheering this kid on, they're like, woo, yeah, go you, blah, blah. the vibes were so good, like honestly, everyone was so like happy in that moment, like nobody even really judged him that much, even people who were like, oh my god, I'm cringing, they were still like, kind of like, yeah, that's pretty cool, like, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, imagine you're on the back of the Do not do the macaroni, oh, <laughs> <laughs> And then when the show actually started, Dan came out of, well, they both came out of the thing, and Dan was like, oh yeah, we saw your little dance-off back there, we saw that, and everyone just died, we were like, ah! like, he was actually watching the whole thing, and I think the kid was literally, the kid was like, yes, <laughs> and it was so funny, because, I don't know, it was just really cool, like, they were actually watching, I don't know, I don't know why that's so cool, but, just, the whole experience was so amazing. I, I don't even know how to put it into words. And the show continued on, obviously I couldn't film any of it again. It was so good, like I don't even know how to explain it. Just seeing them there, I got over the shock of, you know, them being real and stuff. And I just, I enjoyed the show, sat back, cheered. There was so much cheers, like everyone would cheer at like everything. Dan would be like, release the bees! And everyone just like, whoa! And he'd be like, why are you guys cheering for bees? Like, it was intense. Everyone was just so happy, so hyped up. It was like the music, like the sounds, it was everything was so loud and there were lights flashing everywhere. It was amazing, like an amazing experience. So obviously all good things comes to an end. The show ended, we were all very sad but also very happy. It was, I mean not happy that the show ended but like it was so amazing, like the ending was so good um, that like literally I think I almost cried a little at the end as well. But so then we left the place, we were still talking about it and everything. I had the jacket, Sheree had the sweatshirt, and Mickey just, was just taking photos of us and we were doing little like photo things, I'll insert photos. And then it came time for us to eat food. We were so hungry, I had not eaten anything since I left the house, which was at like almost five it was like four something almost five and by that time it was like 10 30 almost 11. we were walking around everything that was open was a bar that was it so we saw this bar that we wanted to eat at we were like we're only buying food you know it should be okay we should be able to at least just buy food and if anything else Sheree is 18 and she has a student id to be able to prove it like there's a date of birth on it we didn't get any food, so we were like, oh, you know what? Like, we were walking around for a while. Like, by this time, it was, like, almost 11. We were walking around, we were like, you know what? Let's go to central Brisbane. Like, something has to be open up there, you know? It was like a ghost town. We were, the whole time we were talking about how if we were in, like, Hong Kong or something, everything would be open. Like, it was around almost 11. Everything would be open and it would be, like, almost peak time. But no, apparently... Australia, just people want to sleep. I mean, relatable, but why? Anyway, so we walked to the train station. We took a train without real, like we knew it went in the right direction, but it didn't really go where we wanted it to go. Okay, I'm really bad at explaining and um, 
and my headphone quality is a shit so don't mind that they're a knockoff apple brand from china but anyway so we were here that's where the interactive introverts was and we walked down to here in search of food obviously unsuccessful so then we took a train i don't even know what train we took now looking back at it like i'm very confused looking at this map but somehow we took a train and we ended up here at roma street and all the trains stopped and we were stuck here. That's where we found the police station. Anyway, so continuing on with the story. We, we realized that we took the wrong train, but we were like, oh, it doesn't matter, whatever. You know what? Let's just go home. Like, there has to be food at home. Like, we know Gold Coast better than we did with Brisbane, so we just wanted to go home by this point. It was like 11 something. We asked the person on the train platform, we were like, oh yeah, when's the next train back to the Gold Coast? And he was like, oh, uh, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And we were like, what? um ex excuse me and they were like oh yeah no sorry you just missed the last train back you'll have to wait until the morning for the next train back to the gold coast and we were like what like we just got stranded an hour away from home in the middle of the night we were hungry we were starving we had not had dinner it was a very good vibe and now we were like oh god we're stranded what do we do um so we were at that train station we got out of the train station we were like well what do we do now and it was kind of dodgy like there were people huddling around in groups like smoking and just looking really sus and it was really late it was in brisbane we were not comfortable with where we were like i just like it was not i've never been out that late that far away from home so that was a little crazy we were a little scared not gonna lie we were like what if we literally like we could literally die and nobody would know where we were i don't know if this makes any sense but we were scared let's just say a little bit we were still kind of riding on that high from the show so we were still kind of like laughing and ha ha but there was that little bit of fear creeping in and we were like we fucked up <laughs> so we got out of the train station and out of the corner of my eye I see a police station and I was like you know what let's just go sit in the police station and maybe maybe just maybe on the off chance they could take us home drive us back home maybe um by this point Mickey actually called her mom because my mom was like dead asleep so was Cherie's mom so Mickey called her mom she was like mom I'm so sorry please pick us up we're like over an hour away in Brisbane somewhere um, and I think her mom was more worried than like mad to be honest she was just kind of a little like oh are you okay like oh yeah of course I'll come get you like so, but at the time we kind of felt really bad for dragging Mickey's mom into this like she had to drive probably three hours there and back just because we were idiots so we went to the police station in hopes of maybe just maybe on the off chance they might take us home which was stupid to be honest like who in their right mind as a policeman would want to drive these three stupid teenage girls who missed their train all the way back home an hour and a half drive like it would have been like almost three hours there and back in the middle of their shift at night like they just wanted to be home like why would they do that but maybe we lived closer they would have they would have driven us but they were, we got there and we explained our situation to them and they were like well you guys can try calling your parents and see if they pick up and want to pick you up otherwise worst case scenario you guys can sit here at the police station until 5 a.m if you want and we were like yeah no thanks <laughs> okay so um a little change of uh atmosphere here but we're currently sitting in the police station. We, we are literally homeless little people and we just need food and shelter and to, like, drinks, like anything. The only thing I had for the past hour was water and a piece of chisel that we got from the vending machine that we found in the train station. <laughs> and we ended up here walking and we're just like, you know what, we're just going to go to the police station because that's the safest option. And now we're here. That's well, basically cool. we woke up at like 7.30 and like spent the whole day. It's literally... 12, 12, 12, 12 a.m. Yes. 12 20 a.m. right now, and I've never been out this late, like by myself, in like an hour this and like a never half away from like, home. I mean, the show was really good though, like the show was like amazing. And then so the show ended, which like we were all so hyped, our ears like literally, yeah, I, it felt I like something was it. stuffed in our ears. Um, that basically means that our ear hairs got. What's the word? Deteriorated. Cold ear hairs. <laughs> what are the ear hairs called? People. I just tried to research what the ear hairs are called and all I got is that I think they're called hair cells. I don't even know. This is why I don't do biology. Anyway, continue along with the story. Wait, somebody's calling me. I'm kind of dead right now. <laughs> um, basically, we were walking around. So the show ended at like maybe 10.30 at night. Maybe that's when we got out. 
and then we kind of just walked around we were trying to look for dinner um no place would let us eat because all, all that was open was basically just bars and um we needed to be 18 to be able to buy food we didn't want alcohol we just wanted to get food she was 18 but she only had her student id card and which apparently it, yeah which had her date of birth and she's 18 but you can't she can't even buy food so that was that we're now starving but um this was our day <laughs> yay <laughs> no, um, mickey's mom we're now an hour and a half away from home mm. mickey's mom is coming out to get us like god bless her soul <laughs> she's driving <laughs> like two to three thing. hours there and back right. in the middle of the night like this, this is the next day now it's the morning it's like 12 30 in the morning hopefully we can get some food along the way but like honestly what's even open at this point um no. McDonald's. I mean, McDonald's. Like, this is my um bacon and egg muffin mcmuffin and chicken nuggets. we have chicken nuggets. I have enough money for actually I don't have enough money for chicken nuggets. <laughs> the situation was just kind of really bizarre to me. Like I've never been in a police station in Australia. Like it was it was a little crazy. Okay, I'm literally in my car now. I Mickey's mom dropped us off at the train station. She was so nice. Thank you so much to her. Um I got my car, drove all the way back home. It is now oh my god. Um Everything is a mess at the moment. It is now. It is literally 2.41. Um, we're all dying. Uh, it's almost 3 o'clock. I have literally never been out this late. Probably ever, I don't think. At least not by myself, definitely, that's for sure. And definitely never driven this late either. So this is kind of an experience. Also never been to a police station. That's crazy. Thank God I've decided not to go to school tomorrow because... Yeah, I would not have been able to wake up. It's literally 4.21 right now. I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, also, I am going to turn off. Thank you very much. I'm going to sleep. Good night, everyone. There you go. That's my crazy story of how I went to Dan and Phil's Interactive Introverts and ended up at the police station and couldn't get home until 3 a.m. Yay. Why do these things always happen to me? I don't know. But it did, and it was an experience. Like, do I regret it? Absolutely not. It was the best thing ever. And honestly, if I could have redone the whole thing, I probably wouldn't have done anything different. I'm not gonna lie. It was really fun, to be honest. And But yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I don't know if there'll be any more crazy stories like this. I kind of half hope there will be, but also half hope there won't because it's kind of, you know. But, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!